Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. Our guest today is Denis Shmihal. He is Ukraine's Prime Minister and he joins us from Kiev. Thank you very much for being with us, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you so much, dear Mark. The Russian President Vladimir Putin said the attacks against Ukraine's infrastructure will continue and that the war will take a while, quote unquote. Do you agree with him or do you think that Ukraine can win the war within the next few months? We will win the war without any doubt. We will protect our land, our families, our country, our sovereignty, our democracy and our freedom on European borders. And I think that uh, these terrorist attacks on our electricity, civilian infrastructure, is just terrorist attacks from Russian side, from uh, Putin's side. But we will survive in any way. Be why? Because we have support all civilized world. And all the civilized countries are supporting us absolutely on, in all spheres, in, in military spheres, in, in defense uh, sphere, in sanctions and in finances. And now the next, the biggest challenge of this winter is energy sphere. We also have support in supplying of generators, in supplying of transformators and other electricity equipment, which let us survive because of these terrorist attacks. Right. Uh, so that was my, my question. I mean, are you certain Ukraine will have enough electricity, gas and fuel to go through uh, the winter in face of those continued attack? Because the Russians uh, obviously have decided uh, to use that, that strategy, especially during the winter month. So actually we have enough uh, storages of uh, natural gas. We have enough storages of coal. Uh, now uh, we have uh, enough generators, electricity generators for the last year more than 300,000 generators uh, were uh, uh, were coming into into Ukraine and now we have supplying from all of our partners we need thousands uh, 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 we need thousands of generators and uh, i think that uh, we will have it uh, during this winter and it will let us survive but we have Another challenges with uh, water, drinking water supplying, with uh, uh, another utilities. Uh, so this is the biggest challenge. But with support of our partners, with support of France, uh, we will have possibility to go through this winter. We do our best from uh, governmental side uh, to uh, make for our people possibilities to survive, and we supply them wood, we supply them special uh, equipment, mobile equipment, we created uh, special mobile uh, heating uh, points where people can uh, can be collected during the blackout time and can have water, uh, warm heating, connection, electricity. So we will uh, prepare for uh, this winter. Right. Uh, a few days ago, several Russian military bases were hit far from the Ukrainian border. So has Ukraine decided to strike deep inside territory? And is this also saying that Moscow is not safe anymore? We protect our own territory, and this is our main goal. Uh, in this war, we have no other goals than liberate Ukrainian territory in our internationally recognized borders as on the uh, 1991 and uh, this is only the goal for Ukraine and for Ukrainians. But do you fear Russian retaliation including the use of nuclear weapons? We know the Russian president has mentioned this a few times. Uh, is he just blustering or are you really concerned that he could use them? We are concerned like all civilized world because, because of these words. Uh, of Russian uh, President Putin, but uh, we understand that uh, today all civilized world is against of this and all are very concerned and we hope that it will not happen uh, because it could just uh, bring to uh, absolutely terrible consequences for right. all of us, not, not only for Ukraine, for all Europe. 
Right. Uh, obviously, a big issue uh, has been uh, the supply of uh, weapons. We know Ukraine has asked repeatedly to get long-range weapons. We know Western countries have refrained uh, from doing so because they feared that uh, you might strike Russia. Do you think this is changing right now, that Western countries, starting with the U.S., are now uh, listening to your demands and could give Ukraine in the near future those long-range weapons that you're asking for? First of all, uh, we all can see and we feel it here in Ukraine that uh, Putin will continue his uh, rocket missile terror. And we need, first of all, anti-aircraft and anti-air missiles equipment uh, to protect our sky, to protect our civilian infrastructure, to protect our people. So this is the number one priority for us to have this uh, anti-aircraft protection and protect our sky. The second priority is uh, to have enough ammunition for artillery and to have uh, modern tanks. It's uh, also very important uh, to stabilize front line and to begin uh, counteroffensive to liberate our uh, land and our country. And uh, the third one is to have modern equipment, which again, let us liberate our country. We need no attacking equipment. We wouldn't like attack. We would like to protect our country and to, to uh, liberate our ter territory. So we need weapon needed actually for this. Right. Uh, the uh, French president uh, recently stressed the need to give Russia, quote unquote, security guarantees the day Russia gets back to the negotiating table. We've seen some uh, reaction uh, in uh, Ukraine. Uh, do you think this is a mistake by the French president to talk about security guarantees to Russia? We think that uh, the best security guarantees for Russia are uh, stopping of the war and changing of the power in this country and uh, going to the democracy. So this is the best guarantees and they are inside of the Russia. Because of the civilized world have no any uh, intentions to attack Russia and civilized world uh, have no uh, possibilities uh, to change something inside of the Russia and, and their society. So first of all, they should find this guarantees inside of their country. Uh, so uh, we think that Russia sh sh should stop this war and then all of us will be in uh, security and, and we will be safety. Uh, I, you, we mentioned the nuclear issue. I, there's a nuclear uh, issue uh, that uh, you're very concerned about. is the Zaporizhia nuclear plant. It's Europe's largest uh, plant. We know there are attacks around uh, the plant, and many are fearing a nuclear nightmare. Uh, is this on your mind all the time? Unfortunately, uh, Zaporizhia nu nuclear power plant is still under occupation, under Russian occupation. They uh, make their uh, uh, absolutely uh, terrible things, and uh, we all know about this. So uh, we are uh, very uh, appreciate uh, intentions and efforts of President Macron, uh, together with. Uh, uh, General uh, Secretary of International Agency of Atomic Energy, uh, Mr. Grossi, uh, to make all possible to demilitarize uh, Zaporizhia nuclear power station and territory around of this uh, power station in radius uh, 30 kilometers uh, to make secure zone around of this station. Uh, because of the artillery, tanks, uh, Russian terrorists are still there. And this is the biggest challenge and the, the uh, absolutely terrible uh, danger for all the Europe. Because you are right, it's the biggest one, a nuclear power station on the European continent. Six nuclear blocks, each one is like Chernobyl. So uh, in case if this station will have no electricity from uh, outside for 48 hours, it will lead to the uh, absolutely critical consequences and uh, a huge territory of European continent could be under radiation. So it's not games, it's not jokes, it's absolutely uh, terrible uh, things which Russians could 
uh, make on this nuclear power station. So we ask them to uh, leave this station to create their zone of demilitarization. And uh, President Macron is uh, actually a person who is leading this question together with uh, Mr. Grossish. So we will, I hope we will have very productive meeting and uh, they will help us and support us in this um, in this case. Right. Uh, in Paris, there'll be a conference on, on Ukraine. Uh, we know uh, financial support is critical. Uh, Hungary just blocked the approval of a new European Union package of 18 billion euros uh, for uh, Ukraine. I imagine uh, you're counting on this money. What are you hoping for? We talked about weapons, we talked about energy supply, but financial aid, how much and how urgently do you need? Uh, we need three things to win this war. First one is weaponry, the second is sanctions, and the third one is finances. So this year we have a deficit, budget deficit uh, around five billion uh, dollars per month. Next year we cut many our expenses, including social expenses, uh, expenditures even for uh, military sphere, for uh, many other spheres. But we still need uh, money and still need support from our partners because uh, as uh, budget for the next year is approved with 38 uh, billion euro deficit. So it, uh, it leads us to negotiations with our partners to support our country in financial sphere. And we are very grateful to European Commission for this proposal to uh, give Ukraine 18 billion support for the next year. We also are uh, hoping that the United States will approve support for, uh, for Ukraine in amount 10 billion dollars. And we cooperate with uh, International Monetary Fund and we hope that we will have program. We have actually now monitoring program and in the first quarter we will have the third source for financing of our budget deficit. So it will let us to stabilize our macro financial and macroeconomical situation because if econo economy in the country will be unstable, it will not let us to win this war. Why? Because we couldn't uh, um, to execute, to perform our social obligations. We couldn't, we couldn't be in uh, power to pay salaries to our soldiers. So it will lead to destabilization inside of the country and it will lead to the uh, critical consequences in sense of the war. So finances are crucially important and we are so much uh, grateful to France for support of this macro financial support and this year and for the next year too. Thank you so much. Denis Schmial, I wanna thank you very much uh, for being our guest here on the France 24 interview from uh, Kiev in Ukraine. Thank you all for watching it. Thank you. <laughs>